adlaw na itong tanan. Are you experiencing tremors, slow movement, and rigidity of the arms? Well, welcome to Parkinson's Arm Movement Exercise Series. In this video, I'm going to share six empowering exercises specially crafted for a person with Parkinson's disease that will help you with your flexibility and upper body strength. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. So large movement exercises is very crucial for a person with Parkinson's disease who has rigidity, bradykinesia, or tremors because it will help you stretch your muscles, improve your strength. Um, it could temporarily release dopamine, again, temporarily. It could also potentially improve mobility and motor control challenges. These exercises aid neuroplasticity, balance, gait, and posture, addressing specific motor difficulties. Before doing the exercises, try to observe yourself or record yourself doing a specific test that you're having difficulty with, such as bringing a cup to your mouth or getting dressed or getting up from sitting down and try to compare your performance before and after doing the exercises. And if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, just remember for the exercises in this program, we are going to do large movements, okay? And very little rest breaks because we are also going to train your endurance, okay? So the first exercise is going to be overhead reaching. So we're just going to extend our arms as high as we can. And then when we come back down, just bring your elbows close to your hips. Now pain, your palms will be facing forward and then we raise them up, okay? So let's do 10 first, all right? Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is your overhead reaching. The next exercise is going to be large arm circles. We're going to go forward first and then we come back 10 times, all right? So let's do 10 forward. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now just remember, very little rest breaks, but if you need to, you can still have a rest break, maybe a minute, okay? Next exercise is going to be large arm swinging, okay? So large arm swingings, try to reach up as high as you can and back as far as you can, all right? Let's go ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your large arm swinging. If you have reached this part of the video, I am checking your attendance, okay? If you are following along and not just merely watching, I need you to type down below dynamic arms. So I'm just checking your attendance. It is better when you practice and not just watch, okay? Again, the phrase is dynamic arms, all right? The next exercise is forward reaching. Just forward arm reaching, okay? So we're just keeping our arms straight. So to the side, you're just reaching forward as far as you can, bend from the hips too, okay? So we're just going to do 10, all right? I'll just position myself sideways so you can see better. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you can hear my chair, but that should not bother you, okay? So the next exercise we are going to do like we are going to incorporate a sport movement. So it is just jabbing, all right? So jabs, just like that. So get your arm as straight as possible when you do the front 
punch and then come back cover your face okay let's do 10 each arm all right so i'm going to go into just go one there we go and then two all right let's start one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and that is your jabbing or forward punching and the last exercise is across the body reaching just like this okay so you're reaching across the body and try to reach as far as you can again okay so let's go 10 for each arm but we're going to do alternate arms we are also going to train your coordination all right let's start one two three reach for it four five you should also train your balance six seven eight nine and 10 and that is your across the body reaching and that's it those are the exercises that you can do to improve the mobility of your arm if you have rigidity tremors or slowness of movement and try to compare now do the things that you're having difficulty remember you recorded yourself before doing the exercises right try to compare your performance before and after and if you find this video helpful, please consider sharing this video to, to your support group and click on that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up and that notification bell. Click on that to notify you whenever a new video comes out from this channel. Now, just remember, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam!